Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. So, Eldritch Moon is almost upon us, the full spoiler is out. And a cool new thing, or new thing, I don't know how cool it is, there's Eldrazi werewolves in this set that start out as werewolves and then you pay some mana and you flip them into Eldrazi werewolves. So in honor of that, I decided to play my own Eldrazi werewolf deck. It's a blue-green Eldrazi werewolves with Collected Company. So we have eight werewolves, we have Lambolt Pacifist and Dustwatch Recruiter, and these guys are great, just the staples of Collected Company decks everywhere. Then we have some sweet Eldrazi, we have a Dimensional Infiltrator and Eldrazi Sky Spawner. I think Flyers are really good right now. They help break the stalemates a lot of Collected Company decks have. And allow you to go uh, around all the ground creatures. Then we have four Matter Reshaper, which is just a card advantage, card value, most of our things uh, can hit, our creatures. Then we have Reality Smasher, they're really big. They can hit past a lot of stuff. Then I have one Drowner of Hope. It can also help break up stalemates, and it's just big, and it works good with the, uh, or works well with the Drowsy Sky Spawner, which also makes us uh, Scion tokens. Then we have four Collected Companies to try to hit our Werewolves and Eldrazi's. And then we have Bounding Crisis. Well, I haven't seen much play in uh, company decks for a while now, but it used to be a staple. And since we're only blue green, we're not white. We don't have Den or we don't have a Reflector Mage, so it kind of fills our role of getting a blocker or attacker out of the way. Then we have a Den Protector to buy back, either like a Reality Smasher or a Collected Company, something to give us value. And then we have a couple of Harbinger of Tides, allows us to uh, play a little bit more on their turn, and also can get like an attacker out of the way and uh, keep us alive. So for the man base, we have four Evolving Wilds, Forest Islands, four Lumbering Falls, one Waste, because we have some Carlos casting costs in our spells, which we can get off the Evolving Wilds, some Abbeys. Allows us to do something more with our mana, and have Carlos and obviously Yavimaya Coast. In the sideboard, we have three Dispels, which I think is really good. I'm not actually playing it right now. It's really good in the mirror. Uh, I know a lot of decks play Negate. We're also playing Negate, but that's more for the black-green decks that are controlling. But Dispel's great, because you can, like, on five in company, and then hold up the spell for their company. Two more Harbinger of Tides, two more Drowner of Hopes for like their uh, creature matchups. Uh, some Nissos to get grindier, along with some Den Protectors, and one Natural State. In case we put the deck with a lot of uh, Stasis Snare types of effects. So we're just going to play this in a uh, fun league event and see how it does. Alright, so our first match, we're on the draw. Oh, this hand's fine. We have two lands and a couple of pacifists we can play. Um, our opponent's already mulligan, but we'll, yeah, we'll keep. A third land cast Bounding Crasis or Morse Den Protector. And Carlos Land obviously casts the Matter Reshaper. So our opponent is still contemplating a six, which means it's probably kind of weak or iffy. Yeah, so we we like to draw two lands in a company off the top. It's an ideal draw. Obviously, you just want to draw a company whenever you're playing that card. Alright, so it did go to five. Alright, so hopefully this is a good, easy game for us. I know you never like to see mulligans, but, I mean, a lot of times they do translate into wins. Alright, Vista from our opponent. Okay, ha this is nice because we can, like, play Pacifist, Pacifist, and then leave this up, or the Krasis as a play. So these, do the worlds do, like, play well with our uh, uh, flash cards. <laughs> so we did draw a card of the source, so we can just play uh, the, infilt or the matter reshaper next turn, and then turn for that we could probably play two two drops. Their own pacifist, okay. Let's see, I'll just play our infiltrator. Not infiltrator, matter reshaper. He's getting, get, getting those mixed up. I was really hoping he's going to attack there. Um, so yeah, we're going to let this flip. kind of sucks, but uh, allows us to Bounding Crace to sit on his turn. Or we could actually just play a... Maybe we can just play it. Pacifist, that's whatever. We still have two two drops available to us next turn. So our opponent's doing pretty good. They haven't drawn a third land yet, but they're able to uh, keep up. And just drew the third land. So, yeah. Definitely not out of this game yet. No Dramoka's Command. Okay. It's a 
pretty good. We're just gonna get basic forest here. Please attack. No. <laughs> Let's uh, go get. Maybe we have a Carlos source. Let's get a forest. It's not bad. I'll play this and say go. And then we'll play Infiltrator on his turn at some point. You know, if, actually, if this flips, it's not that bad because then we can cast Reality Smasher, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Reflector Mage. I really hope he attacks here. Perfect. He inbounds the two power creature. So, uh, we can play this in trade. I kind of want to get this off the board. It's just so big. So, if he bounced the Matter Reshaper, um, couldn't do this. We only have four power. Alright, we get a flip. Battlefield. Alright, we're going to smash him. Another one. <laughs> yeah, these are guys, they're kind of weak against Reflector Mage, but they're good against everything else. They're just so big. And you can't. It's hard to get a removal spell, obviously, because they discard a card. You know, they're, they're usually only just, uh, is a uh, Dramoko's command, so it's hard to do that, anyways. Alright, so he still has three cards in his hand. I think we just want to play Sky Spawner and Flash into Krasis. This seems fine. Because hopefully he attacks into this. Alright, Tireless Tracker. Did he draw land? Alright, so he's. Yeah, this is. He had a really good mold of five. Correctly, blue colorless green. We'll tap his tracker. I think we'll just trade off. You know, actually, no, we're just going to hit him for a bunch. Then we'll play a recruiter. So 11, play the recruiter, so we're in pretty good shape, also uh, if he like taps out we can just flip our Westfell Abbey to Ormondal. Nothing really to Den Protector back at this point. Yeah, so Ormondal's pretty safe here, we might have lethal anyways. We might have the third Dramokus command, which would be awkward. But Ormondal plays around that. Boom. Let's get him. Oh, we're just going to fight right now. It's awkward. If we draw a land, we can do it, because we can just play face up Den Protector. Oh, we can just draw another Reality Smasher. So let's say he blocks. Oh, he just concedes. Okay, was he? Let's just, let's just figure out if he's dead real quick. Blocks. Yeah, he was dead. Okay, cool. Yeah, Reality Smasher is a great card. And <coughs> so we definitely want the dispels. Um. Maybe Dem Protector wasn't that good. Jonathan Hope's not bad. No, cut it. I don't want to cut too many things that are going to hit off a uh, company. Harvestian Tides. I'm, not, I'm kind of iffy on that card because it doesn't allow you to be proactive, it plays more defensively. I want all the flyers. Yeah, I mean, it's so good off a company, though, like, when they're attacking. 
I'm gonna cut a recruiter. Cut a werewolf. Let's see how many. So we still have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen, seventeen, twenty-one. Yeah, I still play targets. You want it to stay above twenty-three. That gives you a fairly reasonable chance at uh, hitting off company hitting two. All right, so we're on the draw. I think it's fine. We can hit a waste with this, and then curve out some werewolf buddies. Perfect. So she needs to draw land before we hit. So we're gonna hit turn four company. No two drop. That's good, I think. So waste. Oh, we didn't really need it. Oh well. Um, this can the recruiter can attack. This is better if he doesn't play a spell. And he's probably gonna play something and then like a thing bigger than the recruiter can attack into anyways. Unless it's tireless tracker, that make good uh be able to attack into it. Reflector mage it doesn't matter. Play recruiter, and you can uh, company into reality smasher, or maybe play a couple two drops. Double reflector mage already, but that I mean, just makes reality smasher better because it's harder to uh, interact with. Um, I don't think that was a counter spell, so we'll just wait till his turn to a uh, company. Could have negate, which would be bad, but we just play reality smasher, we should be fine. Could have his, this also like, kind of prevents his own company. Ooh, double matter reshaper deal. Then again, if he if he uh might just double block one in case he hits Thalia's lieutenant off his company, which I assume he's representing. It's just a little bit safer because if we just block block and hits Thalia's lieutenant, we just get crushed. Or if he has Dromoka's command, also single blocking is pretty bad. Alright, so there's a lieutenant. And just lieutenant. Okay, cool. So that could be a lot worse. Uh, battlefield. I guess we just play a tap line and leave back a defensive reality smasher. I don't know, we are hitting for 8, putting him to 10. Or we just play 3 2 drops, that seems good too. On the next turn, we can reality smasher or play the Lumbering Falls. Another company? Okay, no, so that's not the end of the world. It's, I'm just gonna triple block. I think, uh, Still good for us. I just want to keep his board clear. Like he puts a counter in fights, we still eat it. Puts a counter here in fights. We still just lose one more guys to the actual uh, combat. Once this is off the table, I can be more aggressive, especially with the reality smasher. Yeah, I don't think he has like a good command. He can just kill the. Dust Watch with Anissa, and that's about it. Puts a counter and has this fight here. Yeah, that didn't. Okay, I just put a counter here. That didn't do much. Uh, Law Lands. Uh, 
that's good. Now we can attack with the pacifist. Still has three cards in hand, but he didn't have a company that turn. We're gonna kill the lieutenant. This is still two turns off. He's down to eleven, and we have another smasher in the gates. If I left one Carlos, I could have bounced this potentially. That was a mistake. I forgot about the ability. We could have definitely done that. I take two, but he's going to take seven. I think we need to play the Sky Spawner yet. Yeah, that was a mistake. I definitely didn't need to tap all my Colas out. But we're in good shape here. Another arrogance isn't even the end of the world. Um, Displacer is bad, but let's see if you can activate. You can't activate it. Okay. But he has to trump block the lumbering falls no matter what happens. Let's fetch. Let's get island. So you see the chumper trade with the displacer. And then now we'll play the sky spawner. Manlands are good. All these uh, new like Bant Humans decks don't actually play Manlands. Because it hurts the mana. Like, come and play tapped hurts the mana base too much. And just likes to have Zal's lands come and play untapped as much as possible. But it's good. Like, it definitely applies pressure. Especially against like the black green X decks, uh, being the three three hex proof is big, and it is a problem. I guess we can just play pacifist and leave and leave up the. All right, so I knew that was going to happen. So that's the chump or trade. Just going to trade, okay? Goes to two. And yeah, we'll just play the sky spawner. We still have the blink of this up technically because of the scion. You can flip this, but I still have a reality smasher and I have two two power flyers. Okay. I'm pretty lucky there's only had one company in this game, right? No, just hit the one Thalia's. Alright, sweet! We won our first match and it was against uh a real deck. Awesome. Alright, it's round two. We won the dice roll. We'll love to play first. Alright, this hand's fine. Uh, a little light in action, but we have two drop and we have turn four company. We can definitely keep this. Sit out with the falls or volume wilds, which volume wilds get a basic forest. And if we draw like a, a play for turn three, we're in great shape. Also, if he misses his two drop, we're in great shape. Okay, perfect. Let's play the coast. Hit up the coast. Play the recruiter, say go. Alright, another Bant Humans list. Ooh, which one's better, Reshaper or Sky Spawner? I guess Sky Spawner lets us attack immediately. Real Reshaper is good against Thalia's Lieutenant. I think we can afford to be a little defensive here. Let's do this. Let's 
Let's say go. It's also good against Tremoka's command. Or better against Tremoka's command, at least. Alright, so there's a Thai's Lieutenant. So I'm going to trade off. Well, he is not. I think we're just main phase company. So the werewolves don't flip. Okay, that's, that's fine. Got two creatures. Say go. <coughs> now we can set up a crisis next turn to let our guys flip. Right. No company from our opponent yet. Two clues. That's all the clues. Let's attack our sky spawner. Play a sky spawner, we have to sacrifice a token and have enough mana for Krasis. I think that's fine. Really tough. Our opponent is already a good. Has already a good board, and ours is kind of a little derpy. <coughs> Sky Spawner might have to carry us because uh, yeah, the ground is really clogged up already. Huge pacifist. The Tyler Tracker can be a five-four. So yes, flyers are really good in uh, these type of matchups. Now the Thalys Lieutenant, okay. Now let's tap his uh, big boy. If we had a better like block of that was tapped, we could let him attack and uh, ambush him, but it's just a 2-1. <laughs> Let's see if he still wants to attack. He doesn't really have any, yeah, doesn't have any good attacks. He's in for 4 and down to 14. He gets to break a clue, so... Or Dramoka's command here. It's bad. That really lowers our clock. It's going to make us hard to win. Yep. Hard for us to win this. Play this. We'll play our forest so we can activate Dusk, Dusk Watch. I guess we could do it on that first, but this is one of our better cards. We can't cast a Reality Smasher if we got it. John or Hope would be also okay. Really don't want to see another Thalys Lieutenant. That'd be pretty backbreaking. Dude, this guy has all the clues. He's going to know everything. He's going to figure out all the mysteries. That's good. I played Champion of the Parish back when it was in standard. I even played at the Pro Tour. And that card was good, and this card's almost the same card. Alright, let's uh let's look. Take a look. Alright, Madre Shaper's not bad. Okay. So we can throw that in there and not, and not be unhappy. Let's do this. Take 11. We don't get too blown by Dramoka's command. I guess, oh, this is bad against a clue. I forgot. I was just thinking, yeah, that was really bad. Bad 
battlefields. Play the infiltrator. I think we still attack the flyers, you know, like these are being close to lethal a piece. I think we gotta somehow just chump block our way to victory. <laughs> Say go. Yeah, so th this opponent had a way better uh, start than another opponent. And yeah, we could have played around this better, that was stupid. I just think Dromoka's command, like, Dromoka's command gets in any way, that, either way there. Oh. Dromoka herself, I believe. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, I can't be that. And that's Vigilance, oh my gosh, that card's so good against us. Guess we, uh... Do a tradesies and a chump block. Try to bounce this back. Uh, you're my target opponent. Oh, I did. I hit. Oh, yeah. I'd love to return it. I have no way to deal with this or interact with this. Uh, battlefield. Got him. <laughs> Jeez, that thing is big. <laughs> yeah, we're just dead. Alright, let's go sideboarding. <laughs> I don't even know how, like... Did I just gotta bring in Drowner of Hopes? Try to smash around him? Yeah, I don't like Harp. Harp and Ties actually wouldn't have been bad there. Yeah, we just want all these dispels. So like this is our only way to interact there, so maybe we just cut the we don't go smashing. Yeah, Joss that's much recruit doesn't seem that great actually. So we still have four, five uh Den Director wasn't great, we'll bring back in a Woman Nissa. We need those. Um so four, eight, twelve, six, six. Seven still. I'm just gonna cut something. No flyers are so good. I just want all the flyers. Uh, I'm gonna cut a matter reshaper. So we definitely sideboard way different. But it is Dramoka, and I don't. Yeah, that card's great. So yes, we'd love to play first. All right, this hand's kind of weak again. We just really need a company off the top to. Uh, Make this hand viable. Our opponent, Mulligan to five. Okay, cool. Uh, card on top. But as we learn, that doesn't matter. Play this uh, falls. All right, this is good. Pacifist? Yeah. Okay, that card's such a beating. Ooh, but we got the Harbinger and we're gonna be able to uh, do it on their turn. So we'll get our forests. And attack for two. And we gotta like, disguise it because usually people hold a mana for company on four, but we just have a two two. So, <laughs> I won't see it coming. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mocha's command. Ugh, yuck. Yep. Just attack for two. Bounce this guy, gets to reset the counter. Oh no, it flipped. What are we gonna, what are we gonna do? No. 
Boom. Let's get him. <laughs> uh, yes. So now he has four, so we can company. Nope, just pacifist. Okay. And dust watch. Okay. So we definitely want these to flip. Alright, that's not bad. I guess we just tap his guy and. Um, I was going to say, if we don't have another play, we can just tap this guy and attack so they don't flip. But now we have our own pacifist, so we can play that and say go. He only has two cards in hand. I guess he gets some more looks. Rather, this guy's not flip yet. So he's down to 14. We're doing okay. Better. And a look. Maybe we should look first. I don't know. That's just like. Uh, so we get another disc watch. Okay, so we can tap his guy and we get to attack him. Kind of sucks that we can't turn this on really without playing a big guy ourselves. Alright, well we can a activate and leave open to spell. Send in the clowns. You can like double block and get a good kinda of good trade. Yeah, we're gonna kill his dusk watch. That's not actually good for us because uh, that requires more mana to attack, so I'm not, I don't care. That's probably better than killing all something else. So both our guys flip. I just really want to play company here. Probably just has a three mana. Oh. I'm not sure what this is. Alright, just reflector made, okay. Probably bouncing the pacifists. Oh. Okay. Oh, you still can play like on our next turn cycle, so you can play on his turn. We're gonna pod your Mocha's command here. Oh no, just the clue. Should've done that first, obviously. Always draw first when you plan out your mana. That's a good draw. <laughs> Her mana's short. Um, I guess we just offer up the trade here. Oh, that's perfect. That's even better. That was good. Alright, there's the Dusk Watch. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. That doesn't matter, because we can just tap it. Just play this and activate it and get a look. <laughs> Exile card. I <laughs> got a Coco, cool. So we can't move up company mana, but we do get a good attack here. Tap that. Yeah, let's tap that. Next turn we get another Scion. This is a free trade here. If we attack with this, and then it's like chump block with this. It's just the same thing as if you double blocks. Except for we lose a 2 2 instead of a 3 3. Okay. Archangel ties is an interesting choice. Um, if they have Reflector Mage, I don't like it, as we saw last week. So this way we lose a 2-2. Two, two. We don't get kill his 2-3. But uh yeah. So he's down to two. Uh 
and our sky spawner taps his flyer. Six. Okay. Yeah, he only has one flyer, so it's still lethal. Ooh, that was a pretty close game. Oh, that's not flyer. What was I thinking? Oh no, I messed up. I was thinking the five five was a flyer for some reason. Jeez. Oh no. And I had lethal rex to attack their thing. Oh no, I'm. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. Oh, for some reason I think there's a flyer. I can't even dispel now. He goes to seven. Oh wow, I just threw away this game. That was a uh, that's painful. Well, it's learning. I'm just practicing. Another Archangel. Another Dust Watch. Yeah, we're just going to shame concede. Oh, gosh, that's so bad. All right, we'll to one. Hopefully, we can uh, bounce back from that and uh, get some more victories. It's our third match. We're on the play again. Right, no two drop. This hand's keepable. Uh, two drop would be great. Obviously, the best case scenario. But our cards are good. We'll keep. We'll just get a basic island with the wilds. Gumbo Cola does not sound appealing. Or in the cap seven also. Quagmire, some kind of black green, probably controlish deck. <coughs> Get that island. Boom, no two drop. <laughs> Say go. So this is okay match. I've played against it before. Reality Smashers really shine here. Obviously, the company is good, and then the den protectors are going to be great also. Um, I'll just play the Matter Reshaper first. So he probably has a removal spell here. This is just good against removal. Okay. Or he doesn't. That was a good draw. One of the better cards in this matchup. Nissa. Okay. Just gonna attack, and I guess we'll play the Sky Spawner. Kind of leads him to a want to languish, though, but we still have more plays afterwards, so it's not the end of the world. Or we just hold up Krasis and then put off the languish for another turn. Kind of just play the Sky Spawner. Trading, okay. Battlefield, yeah, definitely gonna play it now. Now we can play the Crisis in case he like does languish for whatever reason. I'm not just gonna run out there for no reason though. Draw a lot of lands. That's okay. So he has at least that forest in his hand he could play here. Tracker. 
okay. So maybe this isn't a language deck. Maybe, maybe it is. We could just trade this in now. I think actually that's fine. Now we know that is that. So we're not going to be able to attack the Scion into it. So we are down on cards a lot. Uh, so let's tap that. Okay, that's a great draw. We'll just smash him. This is for 10. And Languish isn't even good enough. But I don't know if he is a Languish deck, so we'll see. I guess there was that newer black green deck that played a lot of creatures. Yeah, but yeah, Reality Smash, like I said, is going to shine in this matchup. I guess he can like play land, double break clues, and trade with the tracker. But at that point, I think we're okay. I think we're happy with that. Really want to see a company off the top. Or Drown of Hope would be fine here too. I think Drown of Hope might be just lethal, especially if he just tries to play like another creature, or he breaks a clue first and then plays a creature. It's definitely a best case scenario. Attacking, okay. I guess he's just in Quagmire block, but I can, can get blown out. Or maybe he's going to languish anyways. Yeah, okay, so, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Reality Smasher. <laughs> no. So the Quagmire can block here. I don't see us get two for one, but we're in okay shape. Now we, I mean, we have no other cards, so we're gonna try to ride this uh, Reality Smasher of victory. Opponent has been kind of stuck on lands, right? No, I guess the last turn was the. F no, he plays land the next turn. Just feels like he's just hasn't been doing much. So he's gonna have to two for one. Like, there isn't that much power move that actually kills the reality smash. I think it's just a uh, ruinous path because. Obviously, Ultimate Price can't target it, and um, Grasp of Darkness can't kill it. Yeah, that card's really good. So if he, like, bl animates and blocks, he has another removal spell, because he'll take 3 trample damage plus uh, 3. Omniclus is actually probably one of his best plays here, because you don't need to discard a card to, uh... Use the ability to kill it. It's only when the spell targets it. Targets it. If he's breaking a clue, oh, a morph. Is that the den? That's good. Unless he has ruined his path. <laughs> so he needs like a grasp here. Jump block here. Take a four. Alright, that's a good draw. Or it can be at least. Alright, so. Oh, he's going to grasp that. And then block and take three, go to two. What's he gonna discard? Sylvan Scrying. Sylvan Scrying! Alright. So he's at two, and we're gonna have two two power flyers, and this one, like, oh, not gonna be able to catch with the Languish.
So player land and say go. So this should be a good spot. We were able to uh, get enough damage in that we can probably finish them off here. So, it's not good enough yet. So it's a draw. Like, he has to have two grass. These can't be ultimate priced. Sylvan Advocate, not good enough here. Cool, I think we got this one. Like I said, Flyers, that's where it's at. Gotta make sure we don't pass the turn back to us without playing our Infiltrator first. So my, he might languish anyways here. Let's attack first. Nope. All right, let's play our guy. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, crisis. That was a good draw. All right, let's go sideboarding. So it's a weird mix. So he has like good spells we want to counter and then good creatures we want to try to deal with. So we want the negates. We want these nissas. I think we want this pacifist. It's only good if he misses on a spell. I don't think we want the harbinger. Or the drowner, not the harbinger. The harbingers. It's interesting because like one of those creatures has vigilance anyway, so it doesn't even do it. Um Oh, you also want the den protectors. Yeah, we can cut the pacifists. Leaves us with force. 7-ish, 11, 15, 16, 17, 21, 25, okay. So yeah, this is a matchup where negate's better than dispel. Dispel can hit like the cheap removal spells, but uh, negate hits the powerful cards like languish. Alright, this hand is more than reasonable. So two drops and three drop our opponent already mulligan once, so we're going to keep this will get a forest, less painful that way. Maybe the Westfall Abbey should be something else, like a Foundry of the Council. Because I want another colorless land, and these just seem like the stickouts being the most powerful at the time. The Foundry of the Council is fine, and like Seagate Wreckage is also defendable. The, card's, the card can be good. Three drop. I guess we'll just fetch now. It's no secret what we're on. Yeah, so the Mattery Shapers. It's still draws you good in this matchup. Ooh, he's playing blue, so he has like things like Silengar. Maybe negate? Probably not. Ooh, that's a great three drop. So play our uh, Duskwatch. I played against a version earlier that was white. I only thing I saw where well, white was like Soren and English are making it. That doesn't seem unreasonable. So I might just kill this now. Yeah, grasp. Okay. So yeah, I'll play this matter reshaper. Yeah, so like Lumbering Falls is gonna be great in this matchup. Well, better. He still has creatures, which is kind of awkward. And four or five Sylvan Advocates are a pain in the behind. But he's going to have to use a card to deal with this, and then we're going to be up a card, card back, even if it's just a land, which it has been lately. But 
but our opponent, I was going to say, doesn't have green mana, but instantly has a green mana source. Probably just has some getting, but uh, wanted to play the grass without taking a damage. Ruinous Path, okay. Draw the gate. Do we reveal that? We did, okay. Okay, so we'll just, I want to play this closer to 7, because then we actually get value out of it. So we'll just play a Sky Spawner here. And then next we're going to play this and leave up Activation or Crisis. The gate's going to be useful too. Even the Abbey's okay, just a point maybe just make some 1-1s. One I don't know how they can deal with the token or the flip side either. Okay. Keep the scion back. Sylvan Advocate. Okay. Yuck. Yeah, so I guess we're going to play this Duskwatch. And attack for two. I'm just going to activate it. If he uh, attacks the Avakim, I'm going to jump block the Scion so that if he does have Languish, uh, I actually could just let it resolve and then it trades with the. Alright, so it doesn't have Languish, definitely not. Yuck, 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 yuck. I think I want hmm, I kind of want to trade with this by playing this and it's like it kills one of my guys but if he has uh, ultimate price I get wrecked so I can't do that yet I'm just going to look matter shaper is good It's nice that there's an any order button for putting cards back, because a lot of times it doesn't matter. Attack for two. He can flip his Nissa next turn. He's going to break a clue here. So we can play tap land. to leave up negate. I guess if we put it on top line we could activate this. So we can still do that with the sign like we can jump block and activate. That's not it's not terrible. Kind of, actually maybe we wanted to leave it up in the forest so we could play the crazis off the scion. But that's like the least likely thing I'm going to do. So at this point, if you tax him, went off for the double block. We can also try to trade off the tracker, but the tracker's tapped. Like if it attacks, it means it can't block, so that's not bad for us. Hmm, that is bad though. <laughs> Wow, all the advocates. All right. So now I can play Nissa. Go get our forest and flip her. He didn't flip his, which is nice. Um, I guess we just plus. A 4 4 actually isn't bad here. And we're, we're, we have a negate for language. I 
think I want to cast the Matter Shaper off the Scion, just in case he has a removal spell, like for the Scion first main phase, I float mana, second main phase he languishes, it's really bad. So we can trade off with some of his guys if he attacks. What's this? Seasons past? Or is it Silmgar? Ooh, I can't beat that. That's another reason to minus playing on Silmgar. Oh, Kalidus. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's bad. It turns off our Mattery Shapers. Yeah, if we lose, it's gonna be because of these triple Sylvan advocates. Just having like being able to attack and block is just such a pain in the behind. I'll go in here. I think we're gonna trade. Ooh, no, that's not, that's not the plan. Okay. Me, 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 me. I guess we just uh, do this. I know we don't get the tokens. Ugh. I think we just take 12. Let's do this. If he's lower, we could just flip Ormondal. Because we have to kill him this turn if we want to do that. It's not good. And then Lumbering Falls. And there's a company. Ugh. I think that's game. Cause we have like chump block all around, and then we can't flip or we can't flip the Abbey. Guess we got to tap. But like him getting so many zombie tokens, that's just game. Uh, it's a lot of dudes. All right, go back to sideboarding. So then gate was terrible. It never did anything. I think it's still right. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we just bring the drowners and try to go big. But then we get like languished and we lose. I guess those are good. Now we'll just do this again. We're on the play. Maybe we can just have like an early reality smasher and try to get in there. Yes, we love to play first. Alright, we have Collected Company. We did it. So our opponent Mulligan. Okay. A lot of Mulligans from our opponents tonight. Put a card on bottom. Okay. So you should play Dusk Watch into Dusk Watch into Company. Can't get much better than that. <coughs> Swamp out of the deck. Alright, Nissa. Can we get two? Might just play that turn three. So we can have easier turns later because the dusk wasp is cheaper. Advocate, cards of pain. We draw like a flash creature here. We can just pass and flip our guy. That's not bad. Nope. I right, just get a forest. Green just has the best creatures right now. Pass. I 
So never saw an ultimate price. I can't grasp. Alright, so he's not attacking. Okay. Land's not what we need, but that's Carlos Source, that's good. So next turn we can we're still gonna play company here, next turn we can Dusk Watch and activate. I don't want to extend that far into Languish. I still think he has them. Tap land. If he attacks, we're in a company. Okay. Didn't. Crisis be good here. Oh, those are fine too. Hmm, so we can activate the falls. I think that's good. Let's just probably pressure. We don't need to play any that much more. We have a nice turn after the language. We get a card off this, then we get to company. Anything but Nissa. Still just want to chump attack yet. Don't need to. We do have the lands to flip it. He can grasp, and if he doesn't block, he's still taking eight. That's not bad. Yeah, close the company is a good card. It's really fun. Looks like he does have a grasp here. Yep, okay, so the howler's down. It's fine. He's still two turns away from the turning this on. Trade, okay. I was gonna say let's put in a hand to play around language, but uh, that's actually what we put on the battlefield. <laughs> that's pretty great. for two here. Cleus is good against us too. Play Dusk Watch and leave up like everything besides the falls. If did hit land though off of the other matter shaper, we could have flipped this this turn, which may be good. Does language here? He gets. I think how it works. He gets four zombies. It's really annoying. But hopefully we can just hit two flyers off the company and then just be set. Ruin his path. Okay, you got me, friend. So now we get the company. Hopefully hit a crisis and tap this and then. And another creature, then just kill him. Alright, well, there's a crisis. <laughs> this still might be good enough. So he blocks, takes three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Just enough. <laughs> yeah, Lumbery Falls is good. All right, awesome. So we're, th we're uh, two and one, and we got two more matches to go.
Alright, it's so our fourth match. We've been lucky enough to win the dice roll again. Alright, sounds great. Uh, can't complain. Gonna keep it. Just a good mix of creatures and spells. Let's play our tap land. Say go. Depending on what our opponent does, probably should play their creator first because it can't attack. And basic swamp. So if he doesn't have a spell, Pacifist is good. Um, he's black, so maybe this will draw a removal spell. I'd rather have this die, because it's not going to do much for a little bit. And if he doesn't have a spell, then great. I'll take it. So another swamp might get grasped here. Nope, we're playing in zombies. Okay. <laughs> um, Colorless land. That's good. Now we can actually play Smasher. It kind of sucks to draw so many lands, but uh, yeah. So there's Menace, so we can't really block that well yet. I think next turn I might just activate and pass and flip our guys. Great elemental, okay. We'll just do four damage. Yeah, I'm fine doing this. Lose out on the matter reshaper, but our guys get better. <laughs> Two lands on a company. That's not that good. Tap to look at the top three cards of your deck, put them on the bottom. That's a great ability. So our guys flip. I can play Smasher and other Duskwatch next turn if our guy survives a turn. He can kill one of our guys with a Crater Elemental, but not both. And the 4 4 is obviously bigger. So was, yeah, he's killing the Pacifist. What does this do again? This card might see more play. There's a lot more zombies now. This card's obviously super powerful. Dies. Okay. So please the black goes back to his hand and pay extra to another zombie from your graveyard to play. See, so yeah, we're just gonna smash him. Yeah, I don't want to trade these off for both those yet. Four. Can't creatures with power greater cannot block it. Okay, this is a zombie, not a human assassin. So our other guy flips back. That's okay. I guess you've got another place. This is a free chump block. Kind of chump block. This card's good. <laughs> this card's really powerful. It's back. Might just crisis his guy and send him in everyone if that's like his best play. He does have five cards in his hand, so. There's the dead. Yeah, I don't mind doing this. Kind of sucks to go and play one spell a turn. Let's tap his dead, and then here we have the trade block. Then we can do the same play next turn. Yeah, 
Maybe we want some flying protection. I think like I haven't seen Absent yet, but Absent probably be a big problem for this deck. Seem like how bad that Dramoka was. Maybe like clip wings could be appropriate for the sideboard. Say go. Can't think of much I'm too worried about. Like even something like Chandra doesn't kill the reality smasher. Burn from within. Okay, well that kills the reality smasher for sure. So it's discard a card. So now he doesn't get this back if he blocks. Let's Might offer offer up our Dusk Watch. Shivan Dragon. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's like probably a new player, new account. Let's get some stuff together to try out some standard matches. Yeah, it's just company, sure. That's how I play the card right. <laughs> just a crisis. Wow, that was a lot of high drops. It's just like we played a crisis. Okay, let's uh, tap. Even better just to attack with the one, the crisis, pass, let a guy flip, and then company. I think we're still in okay shape, though. Corpse Weft. Well, I haven't seen this card in a while. Um, pay two. Exile one more creature cards from a graveyard. And you get a zombie twice as big as everything. Okay. Alright. So we're going to say that once. He has three creatures, so we can make a. S is it, isn't this tapped? Yeah, okay, cool. So we got him. Just got him on board. Might as well tap it in case he has like a removal spell. I can't think of anything. Boom! Zombie mess. Uh, that's gross. Okay. I'm going to play this just in case there's anything weird for one black that I don't know could uh, keep him alive. Boom, send in the fish. Alright, let's go to the sideboard. Um, so saw some spells, saw some creatures. I just want to keep it like it is. I like Nissa a lot. Maybe I'll just bring those in just because I like them. Put them over the Harbingers. And this is cool. Try that. This hand's fine. Uh, two drop, no three drop. I have Company and Smasher. We can keep it. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get stuck on three. Because our hand is very powerful, but it is also very mana heavy. Another uh, Realm Dead here. Nope, just spoiler. Can't block. You can exalt two creatures to bring them back. Okay. Oh no. This could end uh, badly. I mean, our hand, like, our hand is great, but we do need to hit the fourth uh, untapped land to really start to go off, per se. You do have Nyssa, that helps, that's uh, another good draw. This the spoiler isn't a joke though, three power is a lot. Guy flips, you don't get to use it, ooh! Okay, whew! I mean, our turn, there's nothing this turn, but, uh, 
next turn we can either play Smasher or a Company. I think I just want to play Company. I just want more board presence. That kind of sucks. We have nothing here, but if he doesn't do something too crazy this turn, I mean, he did nothing last turn. Um, Loom Inspire is okay. Hopefully, that means he can't do anything else again this turn. So we are losing this race, and he does have the X Burn spell, which is can be scary. So no one to go too low. So probably try to trade with his dude next turn. With whatever, whatever the company hits. So let's attack. So we're both getting ourselves pretty low. He's already at 14. I'm already at 12. Okay, more Troy Meyer. All right, Roast. So we don't have like Reflector Major. We're going to do this one. He declares his attack step. In case we hit Crisis, we can just tap this dude. Which he did. Ooh, I actually want to take Sky Spawner and Matter Reshaper here, because we can just th uh, throw the one one in front of it. And then we'll play Company again this turn. Him for five. Put the falls. In this case, in case something goes wrong with the company, we can just still have a blocker for his dude. And the reality smasher should finish out the game pretty well. Looks like our opponent got a little mana flooded this uh, game, or he just has some high drops in his hand. Yeah, but anyway, we're in good shape to win, it looks like. Alright, Ob, that's good. I don't think it's going to be enough to save him here. Better last turn we have the tap land. Alright, so he kills the flyer, I guess? Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's not guaranteed lethal, but it's pretty close. I guess it is, because we just smash and. Let's company first. Double matter reshaper is pretty good. Oh, that's just lethal. Okay. Sure. Alright, so we're going to finish this off at 3 and 1. Hopefully, we can finish off with a win. Alright, sweet. Just one more match to go. This is our last match with the Drowsy Werewolves, and we'd love to play first again. Oh, this okay. We'll see what happens. We can use the Wilds Gotta Waste at some point. Um. Yeah, we have Harbinger or Tide, so if we, it's a match that matters. If not, we can just play it. Put a mulligan and put a card on top. Alright, planes. Is it humans? Are we getting humaned? We are. At least, well, it could be like a Bant still. Alright, 
we'll just put him in tap land. Well, tap land's not much action. Basic island. Ongoing investigation. All right, another brew. Okay, so gonna have all the clues in the world. Should ambush this guy here. I wish we had Tireless Tracker. That card seems good. <laughs> so I assume he's Bant, or else uh, the investigation loses some uh, power. Player Fish. Fish. Anything to it in case something happens. Yeah. It's so unfortunate it's in the clues. Hey, man, all these clues. And we don't really have anything going on. Is this a May? Yeah, so we don't have to, okay. So we can try to ambush block him again. It's three clues. I don't want to bounce it. Okay. That's even better to play tap light and do the same play. So we can definitely appear in natural state in this matchup. Let's try this again. Cool, finally killed his one drop on turn four. Now we're gonna break a clue now, okay. Guess we're just gonna fire up a falls. Hit him for six. So probably gonna break clues here. He probably should've done that. I assume he has a two drop in his deck. Oh, he did have a two drop. Okay. He has two. Ooh, got me. A wild now enchant for three, so I'll have to bounce all those guys when he attacks us. So we've drawn literally no spells this game. <laughs> We're in okay shape, not the best, not the worst. A third one, oh, that's gonna be tough. We really need to hit like a sky spawner or another company. taking four this turn. I mean, we're applying pressure too, but he has like so many cards. Or so many potential cards too. Does he have Ojitai's command? No, just Clash of Wills. Okay. No. So go to two. No action, but we hit him for six. Oh, jeez. This guy has all the clues. Guess we just try to race, and hopefully, just like leaves not like not one blocker back. He doesn't block this turn. Right, so we're not technically dead. And it's still good enough for lethal next turn, that kind of sucks. I think 
we still might have this. No, because he has two blockers. Jeez, we literally drew one spell this game. So tap one. Uh, yeah, we're just dead. Alright, <laughs> let's go to sideboarding. There's a company. I would have only hit one. Oh my gosh. Anyways, alright, let's go sideboarding. Pacifist seems good. Our deck seems okay against his deck. I'll bring a natural state. These, these just, this cards just don't seem good. We'll try that. See how that goes. Yes, we'd love to play first. I'd love to draw some. Oh, here's all our spells. I'll grab a mulligan. <laughs> we haven't mulligan yet, so this is a. Eh, mulligan's happen. I'll keep this. Looking for. Uh, not like this. Not like this. So yeah, just two lines at the top, we have a fighting chance. These are all our spells we need from last game. Alright, let's just say go. I think this hand definitely had a good chance of being okay, I just need to hit a land like immediately. Okay, okay good. Woo! We're in it. Our opponent hasn't done anything yet, but uh... Probably get Gonna get infiltrated. Rattle chains. Okay. Same thing. I think we're off for the trade. Yeah, perfect. We just uh, make that useless. We'll get up a card and then hopefully get a natural state on a uh, stasis snare. Gotcha. Okay. Just need like a land in a company and we're back into it. Uh, so many clues. Just gonna fish them. So there's a fourth land. Now all we need is a company, and we're in great shape. We almost have the same amount of cards, too. Eh, maybe, maybe we have a chance. Ooh, found you the councils, jeez. Oh, we gotta tap that now, because then we can't... Uh, I guess we let them resolve and let them target it. Now we have to play this now. <laughs> also can't do it at all. Okay, we're in okay shape, I think. Then we can play this on his turn. Maybe we want our two one flyers are good with trading his, his little flyers, but now he has found you the councils make it a lot worse. Right, let's... I think I actually want to try to get the reflector mage. I'm, I'll take the two and give him a clue. It's whatever. We'll untap our guy in case he has stasis snare. Maybe he has two and we just get him. Maybe plus a creature we can now can kill this and tap his guy. It's a clue. Another bishop. Okay, so we get him for nine if we like.
actually have a chance. This is good. He has two cards in hand. He can break clues, but then like he's using his mana. It's gonna be pretty close. He's at five, so he can't like be too aggressive. I mean, I guess he can. Okay, he's gonna break a clue first. All right, so he's not even attacking. Um, yeah, I'm only like trade off for one with a double block. Then we have our flyer. We also make a token. Stasis snare. Yuck. Uh, okay. Yep. So if I use his mana on his turn, so we can't break this, we can plop that out. This is tough. I mean, uh, we've been in pretty close actually from all getting to five. It's been nice. Okay. So it gets two clues. I guess we just pop out our dude. Uh, let's tap this right. Blue, colorless, green, green. This makes him have to activate. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. Yep. Okay. Still need to draw company. Reality Smash obviously is perfect draw. Falls might get us there. Breaks a clue. So many clues, so many cards. Breaks a clue. Can I actually attack on the pacifist yet, yeah, especially if he plays a spell like that. I'm just going to pass this way, so I will flip. I'm going to make a token. Yep. If we ever get Ormond all, at least we'll get our nine life. So assuming he's gonna play here, cause well, I mean he gets so so much card draw. Yep. Yep. <laughs> now let's make a dude. We can take a damage for this. I think I played one spell, which is nice. Alright, let's try to get him. He can counter this with Clash of Wills. Okay, whew! He must have had all blanks. He blocks here. It wasn't quite dead. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we won all Mulligan to five. Um, natural state was great. We didn't even have a company that game. Jeez, that was crazy.
Alright, so we're on the draw. We're on cap. We can keep this. We actually have a good mix of creatures and spells. And the drowner hope is great. Everything's great. Everything's awesome. I should also leave with a tap land. I really like to cast a company though. That'd be that'd be pretty good. It's no two drop either, and we'll just play our pacifist. Next turn we get a pass with a crisis up. Oh yeah, I forgot they have a potentially eight two drop flyers. All right. Can't quite hit him here, but we do get a uh, tap his guy next turn. Yeah, so it's better to flip and then tap than just play our matter reshaper. Just that doesn't seem like a normal deck you see, but it seems it seems powerful. It has a lot of good interaction, kind of like our deck from last week. Tap his dude. Next turn we'll play the wilds and play a matter reshaper. Ugh, yuck. Probably gonna bounce. Should bounce the butcher. Actually, we can still recast it because no, the card in our hand is not butcher. All right? Yeah. Okay. Take a turn off, and then next turn I play this. Next turn play drowner. I mean, you know, we just don't attack. I like that. I like that. So we have some good blocks. We can trade with this flyer, and we can just eat his reflector mage. Yep, that's fine by me. So assume it's more flash flyers because he didn't do anything. Just uh, attack for three and see what happens. Go also leave, leave him counter magic. I should kill a flyer here. Uh, yeah. Because I think he had Clash of Wills, so I'm going to play a couple of cheap cards. Instead of just uh, tapping out for the Drowner and losing our Scion. If he, I think I will sacrifice the Scion, though, to pay for the one if he okay, didn't do that. So now a lot better shape, we're not under any pressure, doesn't have any flyers. We actually have spells and lands. <laughs> okay. All the clues. We'll attack for three. Goes for the trade. Sure. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And I kind of just want to play Werewolf here and use it. The Recruiter. He might have tragic arrogance. Oh no, no tragic arrogance, just there. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Still no companies. We we have been pretty lucky with them earlier, so it's not unreasonable to have some games where we don't draw them. Probably gonna bottom three here. <laughs> Bishop. Nope. Um, I 
can even take Smasher. I forgot you can take uh, big stuff with that. So we'll just smash him. Seems like a good as play as any. Just attack with the 3 3 and the 5 5. Definitely should kill a flyer once again. Alright, we should be in good shape. We're way up on cards. Uh, we're way up on the board. Like I said, tragic arrogance is something we should be a little concerned about. And we don't need to play into it, because we have some flash creatures. So draw two more cards here. But we're in way better shape than we have in the last two games. Our boy Rattle Chain's okay. So this is it the fifth mana? Alright, so Brick and Clue immediately. Cool. All right, awesome. We're able to get that match a lot closer than I thought it might be, and we're able to go four and one. And yeah, it's a nice little sneak preview of some uh, drowsy werewolf action you might see coming out the next set. All right, thanks for watching.